Ooh, what's up guys and welcome to our Pokemon Wi-Fi battle with yours real of course, the Scarander. And today we're going up against Sorrow Into Darkness, are known as Yopane on his username. And he's the mountain gym leader of Lithio. And this is our fourth Lithio match, so yeah. Actually our fifth one since we lost one. But yeah, this is the first time we're going up against one another. And uh, yeah, looking at his team here and my team, we were like, yeah, nice team, bro. I'm not even joking, like, that is a very, very nice synergy for the both of us, and it looking very similar. We both got Excadrill and Tyranitar. He is actually a bit different, though. He has actually four Pokemon that are, are levitating, which is really tough. We got um, Hydreigon, Togekiss, Skarmory, and Mega Pidgeot. So, a bit scared of that, because I can't really use my Hepatodon however I want it. And myself use, of course, the previous team with Rotom, Ziggleth, uh, Stoutland, um, Ziggler now is a different set though, it is the stall set, and uh, Excadrill, and of course Tyranitar and Powdown. And just through and through here, I had no idea what he's gonna start off with, so I was thinking at least that I could predict him to start with a Skarmory, it seems kinda obvious, and uh, it's one of those things that um, I just, I have to make that call. Uh, Skarmory is a major, major threat on his team, consider how well, how well is walling the rest of my team. The only thing I can really deal with it is the heal or my Rotom and uh, I need my Rotom to work this time or I'm gonna lose. So with all this my guys, let's go. So yeah, the start was not really that good to be honest here because I, like I said, I started with Rotom because I was hoping, you know, he was set up his own sand. Uh, he's gonna start with Mega Pidgeot and ugh, that is just the worst. So I kinda stayed in here and went for a Thunder Wave. You might be saying, why, why do you have the Thunder Wave? I remember that, or rather, the will o wisp is not helping a whole lot, considering how much Thunder Wave helps me outspeed the things that I have to outspeed, so I'm gonna shut this thing down. That was like, that was my thought process, and after this I'm gonna go for a Bolt Switch and just get out of here and bring Tyranitar. Tyranitar, you know, walls this thing, I'm not gonna say completely, but um, yeah, there is not a whole lot this thing can do to it, so that's a good thing. And um, basically, I just want to force it to be locked in, so I'm gonna go for Pursuit. And of course, I'm gonna take, you know, the Hurricane. And, you know, me being Assault Vested and almost max Special Defense, there is not a whole lot that's gonna happen here. Tyranitar is gonna eat that up very, very well. And uh, luckily for me, I don't get, of course, the Master that is the Confusion. The percent chance on that is just... It's quite high to get through that. So anyway, his Pidgeot's gonna fall. And Peter is not a major player this battle, so it's completely fine. We did not help any one of us. And this is the part where I really missed that I didn't have uh, the flamethrower on my Tyranitars. I'm gonna switch out, I'm gonna go back to my Rotom. And um, I think that my smartest move here was to break him to switch out. So I decided to go for a Hydro Pump, hoping that he's either gonna bring his Tyranitar or his Excadrill. And uh, yeah! It worked, it worked, I was so glad, and luckily I do land this Hydro Pump, because had I not, I would have been in a terrible position where the Excadrill would just rip through my team. There is not a whole lot stopping that thing, so yeah, that's good, that's good, that that that, that, that works. And, um, yeah, worth it. Uh, so anyway, he's gonna bring his Hydreigon, and now, he's gonna get the major player, because I was of course so sure he's gonna go for Draco. So I went for Rex, basically, to try to take that Draco, and I thought, you know, that's well, even that, or a Dark Pulse, but no, he'll go for the Earth Power, what a prediction, what, what a move, he definitely saw, you know, what I was gonna, gonna do, but I do, he doesn't do enough, so I thought I could take one more, but sadly, I get the defense drops, so I can't force myself to go for an Avalanche to take him out, I need to sack my Powdown, and, um, Basically, the reason I did that was because then I get eight turns of sand. You know, I can, I am free to go for whatever I like, and um, yeah, like I said, I'm gonna sack this thing because I'm not taking two up powers. There's no way, and um, I will say my opponent does a questionable play here, but I think he was trying to um, overpredict me really. So he's gonna go to his Togekiss while actually I set up the Stealth Rocks. And that is awesome. Like I said, I was in the foddering move. Uh, I know it sounds weird, but that's like the only play I got. So, um, he's going for Air Slash. I was really hoping this would take me out. And it just, it doesn't, but I do flinch. I went for a Roar in case I did survive. I did not try to go for a Slack Off. 
So anyway, I was thinking, you know, we've got a few turns going here, I might as well go to Rex. And uh, what do you know? What do you know? Of course, the self rocks and stuff like that is really, really hindering. And it's gonna go for Dazzling Green, predicting me to switch out, or rather, he would have killed no matter what. But I do live, I do live with a sliver of health, and that is. I'm not gonna lie, that's quite annoying to be able to take that hit. But he went for a Tailwind here instead of killing me, which was, uh, yeah. I, I, you know, I don't know. That's probably the right move. I just, I did not see that coming. But he is so goddamn chunky that I can't kill him with Rock Slide. And of course, the sand is raging on for another three, four turns. So um, at this point, I was like, yeah, you know what? Take me out. You know, I'm gonna bring Fulf. You can tell whatever you like about your Tailwind. I am sure I can outspeed whatever comes in. And that was really my thought process. I was sure I was going to be able to do so. So. Um, yeah, Fulf is entering the fray, you know, like like I said, when the sand rages on, he will return, and that of course it took his out of the way. So yeah, I was really, really banking here on that he was going to bring this Ranitar, but he actually brings the Hydreigon, and I was a bit unsure if I could outspeed, I am not able to sadly, so he's going to pull off that Dark Pulse, but I do live it. And uh, I don't flinch, the return will of course take out the Hydreigon because it's the Fulf! You don't deal with the Fulf! And of course the Sandstorm will subside and his Tailwind will peter out. So the Tranator is gonna enter fray now, setting up the Sand yet again. And now he knows I'm banded for sure, so I need to get out of here. I really do, and I had no idea what he wanted to set in motion. So as of this part, I thought I might have it. Um, so he's gonna go for a dragon dance here, uh, no, I'm, not gonna, I'm not gonna lie here, my pulse was starting to go here, I was like, oh, danger, 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 and I was thinking, alright, at least I have the thunder wave, at least I can do that, so he went for another dragon dance, and I thought, you know, that's a very weird play, why would you go for another dragon dance, I would definitely try to take out the Rotom before he set up the thunder wave, since now he got that, and that is the exact reason he stayed in. That is the exact reason he stayed in. Oh there, oh there, he got the freaking Lumberry. And I was like, oh no, oh no, this is it, this is it. So I, I did some fast calcs here just to see, even if it was a max speed Tranitar, if it still, still could outspeed my Stoutland. And you know what guys, it is not. It is not able to do so, and that is awesome. So Fov come back in here, threatening with the superpower. And he, of course, realized that, you know, he needed another Dragon Dance to pull this off. He's gonna switch into Star Scream, and I'm gonna fall to his Rocky Helmet here. But you know what? That is fine. You know, I can deal with that. I forced out the Tranitar. And as of now, my opponent doesn't really know the second move of my uh, Sigilyph, or rather, I think he knew about my Cosmic Power set, but people have been asking me why I don't have the Flame Orb, or I have the... Um, the psychic move that transfer moves is because I don't want to be walled by steel type. So here's the heat wave. Take this, and that's how you do it. That is how you do it. Sigilith, what a champ! What a monster! What a perfect, perfect monster! But anyway, the Trantor is gonna enter fray here yet again, and I did not want to um, you mess with this thing. And uh, even while my Sigilith can't do anything. I can't let it set up on me, I just, I can't, so I knew I needed to go with my Powdown and pretty much Psychic, um, because if it goes for one Dragon Dance, then um, he won't still be able to outspeed my uh, Excadrill, and that would have worked great, because um, if he had gone Dragon, he was forced to go for two Dragon Dances, but if so, then I would hit him with my Powdown. So I got my opponent where I got him, so Kaysher always enter last in my battles gonna come in and just finish the game and really here um, Jaden or Sora Into Darkness this was a very very nice match uh, we both did some major good predictions and uh, while I do win it is it was not an easy feat to do you were a tremendous good battler and I had a lot of fun I thought it was awesome and so similar in teams made things even better so thank you so much for this battle what a battle it was awesome thank you so much man thank you so yeah, I thought that this this situation for sort of make it to break it for both of us. He's not scoring a flinch and with the dark pulse was um, yeah, 
that was it. That was definitely it. And um, I think he was scarfed, but I'm a bit unsure. But it doesn't really matter, you know, Folk was entering the darkness and he came out of it. What a champ, what a monster, what a perfect beast, really. Such an underappreciated Pokemon. Stoutland, what a freaking Pokemon. It just helped me so much in these battles. It is one of those Pokemon that you can't really switch into it. It's just, it's so powerful. I love it. And, uh, you know, to my opponent, Jin and Air, I mean, wow. Great match, man. I'm, like I said before, you was a worthy opponent. And I was glad I was finally able to actually pull a win here because you had... Yeah, you just had the predictions game way better in than I have, and it definitely came to show. So thank you so much for this battle. And for everyone that's been watching, you know, make sure to leave a like, of course, and remember to subscribe to my channel if you're new here. And remember, of course, the sky's limit. So have a good day, guys, and take care, and I'll see you next day. Bye.